We all have students who can do the math, but when the same concepts are presented in a word problem, they might be struggling. It may be because they can't create an accurate and visual representation of the situation. They're struggling to find the story in the problem. For students who are stronger in ELA than in math, you might make a connection between narrative stories and math word problems. In language arts, students learn to summarize a story using somebody wanted but so then. In this process, we can retell an entire story about Cinderella using only those facets. Cinderella wanted to go to the ball, but her evil stepmother wouldn't let her. So her fairy godmother helped her, and then she met her Prince Charming. Bring in the same frame, but leave off the then for a little bit. Just introduce somebody wanted, but so. Students cannot solve the problem if they can't find the story in the problem. Then is where they'll actually show their work and solve the math. But leave that off so we can just focus on them understanding the context of the problem so far. In this problem, Xander is unpacking books. He unpacked four boxes that each had 24 books. Then he unpacked eight more books. How many books did Xander unpack? For a student who's struggling with word problems, all they heard was a lot about Xander and books, and they're wondering, who has that many books and why? We need to slow down, not worry about the math, and just find the story in the problem. Get your students to identify who is this problem about, and where are they? A lot of word problems don't actually give a specific setting, but it's implied. Xander is at home unpacking his boxes. So Xander is at his new home. And what is it Xander wants? Now that term can be confusing. So define it as what is Xander doing? Well, he's unpacking his books. The wanted always has to do with activity, what's happening within the story. So unpacking his boxes of books. But what's the but? What's the problem? What is Xander trying to figure out? He doesn't know how many books he has. That's what he's trying to figure out. The but is what we're solving for. For struggling students and even ELLs, we'll want to make sure to just do somebody wanted but for a while. We don't even need the so if they can't figure out what are they solving for. But once they can, incorporate the so into the frame. Again, they're not solving in the so. That's the then, and we haven't even added that yet. So is all about the math concepts. What are the steps as a mathematician will have to execute in order to solve his problem? This strategy works really well even for kids who are good at word problems. It gets them to focus first on the context or the situation. You might want to black out or remove any numbers in a math problem so they focus on the story and don't just start doing the math.